In this video, we connect a piece of shield wire using two different types of connectors. This one here is an IFM circular plug. It has four terminal spots at the back, and this one's a male one. M12 stands for the diameter of the thread. This is a female one that has solder on points for your wires at the back. They make male and female connectors in both styles, but we're gonna be using one of each in this video. Take your wire and feed it through the compact screw. That seals the plug off uh, when you're finished. So take your shield wire and um, I'm splitting this one in half because it's not gonna fit in the back of the plug. That's pretty normal when connecting this, you might have to trim it down. Even though it's only a shield wire, you do have to connect it into the plug. Shield wires won't work unless they have a ground you need a fine point soldering iron to do this and I've got quite thin wire. Don't have to have huge amounts of solder on there, just enough to fill the contact point. Go through and solder one wire on at a time and make sure you don't spill any solder on the other pins. Also check that the shield wire doesn't have any braids sticking out touching on the other pins because that will affect the whole system. This wire is connected to a height transducer. It has a range of 4 to 20 milliamps that it uses to judge what height it's at. And these electronic devices always use shield wire to stop interference from other wires that it might be beside. And now we can wind the compact screw on and the connection is done. This other style of connector I like better. You don't have to solder, you just bare your wires, put them in the back of the terminals and tighten the screw. They are really fast and handy, especially if you're doing something out of the field and you haven't got a soldering iron on you. And we do the same process that we did with the soldering type. I've bared the shield wire and I'm using that first and making sure I've got a good connection there. You want to keep your wires as sure as possible outside the main insulation. The reason for that is that the weather part of the plug needs to have a good contact on the outside of the wire. And you don't want any shield wire hanging out because if water gets in there, it'll jeopardise the connection. Slide the body on and tighten up. There's no shield wire sticking out the back of the plug, so when I tighten that compact screw, I know it's sealed and tight. This is the machine the transducer goes on. I put the soldering plug on the transducer as you saw earlier and I put the screw type connector on the machine. And you can see how easy it is.